Heater is on, blanket is here. Okay, so, long story short, I'm going on a road trip. Not that interesting. I'm going on a road trip by myself, almost 3,000 miles up and down the East Coast. I am going to be vlogging it, the trip, the whole thing. It's, we're getting, vlogging is happening. Pardon me. It's not that I'm going to be bored. I am my own favorite company. That sounds like kind of pretentious, but like, I'm a great friend of myself. I love myself. Spending time with myself is fun. Like, I do it all the time. I'm technically doing it right now, but since this will be shared with the public in the future, technically not really. Like, this is just a message for people. So next Tuesday night after work, I'm leaving to begin this road trip. I will be on the road from the 23rd of April till the 1st of May. So I'm starting this video now because I'm not gonna have time to explain what's going on until it is going on. Because I work all day tomorrow and after work, I have to stay at work because we have to take a class. Wednesday, I have to drop my car at the dealership because it's recall. And I might be able to get some stuff on Wednesday, but I don't know. That afternoon, slash night, like, I might be able to get anything done on Wednesday. I might work on Wednesday night. Talk to you about that. I'm not gonna give away the trip. Like, I'm not gonna give away each stop. I will let the video provide all the details so you'll see where I'm going, what I'm doing as the series of videos progresses because I know this is gonna be at least like four videos at least. So yeah, uh, I have to pack. So welcome to crunch time. I'm excited, I'm excited. And it's gonna be fun, so. Let's get to packing, y'all. We're on day two of like vacation prep, which is basically me using up every single second of my lunch break so I can buy things that I need both before vacation as well as for vacation. Me having still a week to leave leaves me with like a whole week full of, you know, regular life to still deal with and there's still things from that that I need to get. So I just use up the entirety of my lunch break doing that. I guess I'll go back and see if I can eat something while I lesson plan because I literally this morning realized I still have a lot of stuff to do at work before I can leave, but I'm busy. <laughs> and I know that's all I've been complaining about, but like, I keep just reminding myself that the payoff is gonna be so worth it. I also made calls to uh, all the places that I'm staying at with questions about parking and check in, check out, and whether or not there's like a continental breakfast or anything anywhere. We're figuring it out as we go, but I'm trying to be as prepared as possible since it will just be like a one woman show essentially once I hit the road on Tuesday, next Tuesday. Tuesday now, whatever. You're coming along for the fun. This is gonna be, this vlog that's going up first is gonna be the boring one that just gives you the lowdown of what's happening before I actually like have my fun. So right now we're not having fun yet, but we will, I promise. So it's day three of getting ready when I have minimal time. And today is actually the day beyond all that I actually have the most free time to do things as in like, Right now I'm gonna go drop my car for the dealership. It's bright and early, usually Wednesdays I sleep in. No, 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 no. We're not sleeping in, not anymore. Not until the end of fucking time. The car is about to get dropped off at the dealership because there's a lot of safety recalls on it and there have been for years and I'm bad at functioning so I've never brought my car into the dealership, but here we go. Also, I can't breathe, do you hear that? Like, it just hit me as I was talking. Like, what's the fucking air quality today? Like, Mr. Sun should have brought my inhaler, didn't. Oh, well, we'll uh, see how long it takes for them to take this car and give me a fresh one for the day. Electrical supplies with my brothers. And, um... So this isn't, like, worst case scenario. Like, it's fine. I didn't get a rental car, as you can see, because I was in the car of a stranger. Um, well, it was the dealership's car, stranger was driving it. And they said they'll, they'll call me in a few hours. A few hours could mean anywhere from like, I feel like an hour and a half to like four hours. So now I can't do my hair because that means, for all I know, they could be calling me in two hours and I could have bleach sitting in my hair that needs to sit for another 30 minutes for all I know. Or I could be like needing to rinse bleach out of my hair and they're like, all right, we're sending someone on the way right now. Like, like I'm fine, this is okay. But like, this is why I enjoy having my own car and my, being able to drive myself around because I have control over my day. And I want Starbucks, <laughs> which just sounds like it's such a stupid complaint. But I want Starbucks so bad. I really just want a pink drink. That sounds even dumber. Like I'm just, the more I talk, the lamer I sound. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated. All right, so I was just woken up straight out of a nap from the dude who dropped me off saying, hey, your car's ready, I'm on the way to pick you up. 
I don't like shit. Alright. So what I was trying to say before in the house, before I got distracted by um, the car already being here and a phone call. Took it out when I got home. Oh no! I'm getting like gushers goo all over me. It's fine. I have just enough time to grab food and go straight to work. So I'm eating a pack of gushers right now. Cause that's what lunch means on days like this apparently. Yeah, I'm gonna Oh, they don't have the air on in here anymore. You turned it off? Yeah. I it's 420. I got work at five. I gotta go. I gotta go. I finally found time to do my hair. <laughs> it's all 11 p.m. on Saturday. I worked 10 hours today. And I have to wake up early tomorrow so I can get my oil changed and wash my hair. And then I go to work for another double. But this is all vacation money. So I'm like chill. And then Monday night I have time to do my last bit of laundry. And um, run my final errand. Just wanted to update you. Tired. I went out last night. It was great. Saw friends. Not on vacation yet though. <laughs> Almost there. We're Saturday, Sunday, Monday. No, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We're three days away. We're three days away. We're almost there. We're almost there. One more day. I got one more day. I got one more day. I can do it. I know I can do it. But before I do it, before we go, before the magic happens, that sounds bad. Before we start our trip, our fun, our lovely East Coast thing, I have to go to Target. I've got to go to the mall because there's lots of things I still need to get. So. We're like, we're like in the main stretch. I can't fit through my door. I can't fit through the door with all the stuff I'm holding. Hold on. Hey, right. it's laundry and things that I bought today and you know, just throwing my drink on my clean laundry because fuck it. Live life dangerously, bitch. We're less than 24 hours away from the show, from the madness, from the fun. I'm like not freaking out, but it's like that pre-vacation like tenseness that it's just driving me a little bonkers. This whole video is kind of pointless because it's kind of just like we're going on vacation. We're doing cool stuff. You're not going to see it yet, but like you'll see it eventually. And like me just hoping you believe me and then that you hope I hope that you tune into the next video. I don't know. This is just the pre-vacation excitement hitting. I don't know. I'll update you if anything riveting happens. But if not, this honestly might be the last update until we leave. Tomorrow, I'm leaving directly after work. I'm excited. Can't wait. Good hype, bro.